y'all dance to dream, I like to inspire and motivate adults to dream again. Because as we go through life and take on our different roles and responsibilities, we tend to put our dreams on the back burner. And my goal here at Dawn Dance to Dream is to help you pick those dreams back up and to pursue them again. Now, I, I want you to understand, I started Dawn Dance to Dream because I wanted to relay my message and my heart and my feelings across to whomever would listen. It can be difficult getting your closest family and friends to understand the way that you believe and when you try to express it and share it. So this was like my backdoor way into <laughs> letting everybody know. Now I may have lost some viewers as a result of that because they don't agree. And that's fine. I am definitely a proponent of everyone having their own thoughts, their own process, their own mindset that works for them. Your religion works for you, you keep that. No one's telling you to get rid of that. Whatever it is that works for you, continue to use it. I'm just saying that sprinkle some of this other information on it, this personal development information that I'm providing you and see where your life takes you and how you take off personally. But always remember, we are in control of how we see our environment. I don't care what everyone says it looks like or everyone says it is, we are in control of how we choose to perceive the environment. Hey dreamers, welcome back. And thank you to all the new dreamers who stopped by Dawn Dance to Dream today to see what we're all about. Well, of course, I'm here at Typhoon, Texas, as you can see behind me. I'm at Typhoon, Texas again. Robert is getting on one of the water slides. But today's topic isn't really just about Typhoon, Texas. It's about one of the universal laws. We're actually going to talk about the law of action. And I know you go, law of action? I never heard of that law, you know, but it's a law that I love. It's a law that people forget to do. It's a law that people forget to believe in. It's a law that people forget to research. But I am here to inform you all about the law of action. And as you know, I started this series because I wanted to relate all of the universal laws to the law of attraction so that we can understand maybe what's holding us back, maybe what some of our blocks are. And I believe law of action is at the top of the list. So we're going to dig into that today. So just hold on tight and get ready for the ride. Well, I also need my dreamers to realize, and my new dreamers, if you have not subscribe to my channel there is a red rectangular button that says describe down here I need you to go ahead and click on that and get subscribed to my channel that way you'll know when I post all my new content up here to YouTube especially if you've been dropping by and you've been liking what you see I need you to subscribe I can use the support the law of action is a fairly simple law it just says that in anything that we do or anything that we want anything that we desire any goals that we have, <laughs> we gotta take action to get them. Now, action can be several different things. First off, action is changing your mindset. Say your mindset is a little bit off and you don't believe in yourself, you have low self-esteem, you're on the wrong end of the ego spectrum. If you're over there, the work that you're doing to get back to the middle or to the other side is part of the action that you'll take in achieving those goals. Other actions you can take are learning about your particular goal, the thing that you want, the thing that you desire, learning about how you can get it, or just being educated on it, period. That's action as well. I'm not telling you that action has to be this physical, arduous thing that you're doing, but you need to take some steps some motion towards whatever your dreams and your goals are. And I know you say, well, I do that all the time, but lots of times we don't, especially some of us newbies in the law of attraction. What we tend to do is write our affirmations, which is action, and listen to them. We'll do a script, which is action, but we don't continue to take action along the way throughout the process. The law of attraction doesn't say, okay, write down what you want, dream about it, think about it. They say, let it go, but they don't mean do nothing. <laughs> You gotta be open to the actual concepts and ideas around you that are going to have you obtain your goal or your dream. So I'll give you like a simple example of the law of action. I have changed my budget, okay? I am, my goal is to be more fiscally responsible than I already was and to save some paper, to pay my house off early, to pay my student loans off early. And so I have to take action to get there. You know what I mean? It's not just gonna fall out the sky. I can't continue to pay the minimum payment on everything and think that I am going to gain any progress because I'm not. So what I did was I took action and I talked to a young lady. Well, she talked to me basically, gave me a financial needs analysis and showed me what I needed to do. So now my goal and my dream is to follow through with the action steps to actually get it done. Now, 
I believe in having abundance. I believe in generational wealth, right? So if I believe in those things, how am I gonna get those things? How am I gonna leave those things for my son and his children's children? How am I gonna do that? Because I'm going to take action to accomplish that goal. Dreamers, I also wanted to give you a few more examples of action. For instance, lots of times we are trying to obtain things we don't know how to obtain. We don't know anything about it. Like when I went to purchase my home and when I went to purchase my car, you know those stories, I've told them before. I didn't know anything about it, but I took action anyway. I went to a bank anyway and asked questions. I didn't get my home in the traditional way, but I went the traditional route initially searching on how to do it. For my car, I happened to just talk to some people at work and then poof, there was a girl who knew. But I put it out there that this is what my desire was, but I didn't know how to obtain it. So how do I go about getting it? And that's what we're talking about action. You can't just have a dream, have a goal, do a script, dream about it, visualize it, and then just kind of sit. Yeah, you can let it go. And that, what that means is you aren't sitting around going, oh, what I want, I need, I need, uh, uh, and you're like whining about it. What it means is that you know you already have it, but in knowing you already have it, in the present time, <laughs> you should be doing something to get it. And those somethings doesn't mean that you're going to have to work hard for it, because I believe using the universal laws of these principles make life easier for you. But what will happen is your mind will be open to concepts and ideas that you were not open up to previously. So go out there and take some action. I wanted to give a few more examples of the law of action. Um, like, when I moved to Texas, I, I was at a pretty low point in my life. If you saw my bipolar series, then you know that. And at that low point in my life, I really didn't have a place to live. <laughs> so I could have stayed in the same place that I was in, or I could have I could have decided to go ahead and take my dad and move to Texas. And moving to Texas is what I did. So I am very excited. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and glad that, uh, that I took that opportunity. I took that chance. I took action. Because lots of us want our lives to change. We want this miracle move so fast. <laughs> that we, are, we want our lives to change. We want things to be different. But we do nothing to make that happen because we have to take action. So my action was turning my whole life upside down and moving here to Texas. And it was the best thing I have ever done. <laughs> Taking action doesn't always feel good, like at all. It seems like you're like ripping your soul apart because you're doing something completely different than what you're used to. You were content, you were satisfied, you were complacent. And when you take action, you are disrupting your life. So it's time to get disruptive. You have to do those things that you know you need to do to take action. We all know what those things are. We all know what those things are. It's time for you to start. You have to take control over your life. After you take the proper action, I'm telling you, your life will change, it will take off, it will change your life's trajectory. When you disrupt your life, you change the trajectory, which means you may have been going left, you go right, you go diagonal, but you go in the direction that you really need to go in to achieve that success with that abundance that you're looking for. Oh, I found Robert again! <laughs> I found him, I found him. I was trying to, you know, paddle my way through, paddle my way through to finding him, and I did, but I think he's about to leave me again. About to leave me again. I think, is this the exit? No, it's not the exit yet. It's not the exit yet. Oh, anyway, we found each other. We found each other. Ah! Right. He's back there somewhere. I know you can see him. I can't see him. Oh, I see him. I see him. Okay, dreamers, we're going to actually kind of recap what we talked about. We talked about the law of action. And before you can take action on your goal, you got to have a goal. So, first off, you have to set a goal. So, I don't know what it is that your dream is in life to do or be, become, do. You know. So set that goal, right? Then what you have to do, you have to kind of make some plans to get there. Now, if you don't know what the plans are, again, the action could be that you do the research to figure out how you're going to obtain the thing that you desire, or go the place you want to go, or become the person you want to be. So after you have made your plan, you've, or you have done some research, then you need to then dream about that thing, write about that thing, think about that thing, and really just ponder about it. You know, I talk about affirmations and writing them out, scripting, writing out exactly how you want something to go, and then actually doing it. That's what you need to do. But see, it takes a little bit more than that. After you do those three steps, you need to persevere. Sometimes, because we have issues or things that we believe deep down on the inside of who we are, we actually don't get to accomplish our goals like at the snap of a finger or blink of an eye. Sometimes it takes time. And during the time process, we need to have a certain level of perseverance in our heart because I 
didn't become who I am overnight. I didn't achieve this success. I didn't just wake up one day. Remember I told you like 17 or 18 years ago when I first moved here to Texas, I basically had nowhere to live. Now of course I had family who wouldn't see me on the street, but I really didn't have a comfortable place where I wanted to lay my head. And my dad offered that I can't come here. Do you understand? So I was at like the lowest point of my life. I had just got diagnosed with being bipolar and I thought it was a great thing because I thought now I'm going to understand who I am and what's been going on with me, right? But then I didn't like the way that I was treated by some of my family members or how I perceived they were tr treating me. Because you got to remember, everything is about perception. And as I've gotten older and as I speak on, you know, my bipolar journey, I'm realizing that my perception of what people were doing wasn't correct. They were doing the best that they could with what they knew how to do. And they thought that they were supporting me in the best way that they could, right? So that wasn't even what I thought it was. But the point I'm making is I was at my lowest point and I needed to change. And my change was moving here to Texas and it was not comfortable. But I had to persevere. When I first got here, I didn't live the life that I have now. You know, I didn't have my son. But over time, things changed. Things worked out. I set goals for myself and I believed in myself. And poof, voila, you know, here I am. But I am also 45 years old, guys. I'm dreaming about to be 46 in August. You know, so it's taking some time because all of that down and out space, to be honest with you, was in my 20s. And I moved here when I was 27 and I've been on the upward uh, spiral or upward climb ever since. You also need to keep your eyes wide open for opportunities because just because you don't know how you're going to obtain the thing that you want, how you're going to become the person you're going to be, you may meet someone who can direct your path, you may uh, watch a TV commercial that gives you all the answers you need. I'm just saying be open because you don't know where the thought is going to come from. So mind your thoughts. Think positively. Think on what you want. Be grateful for where you are in life and you will see the doors just open for you and that's what I want you to do most of all is to change your mindset open your mind open your heart to the new opportunities that are out here because they've always been here they're always here that's why we always say you already have the thing that you want and desire you do because the opportunity to obtain is already here and so you've already done it but you have to go through the physical process of actually getting it and some of the work possibly now, once you see these opportunities and goals, you know, once your eyes are open and you see the, the possibility, you see the different action, action steps that you take, you're motivated and inspired to do so, then you gotta do that. You have to follow it through to the end because that's what the law of action is all about. It's about taking the steps that you need to all the way through until the end to have the thing that it is that you desire. Now, for some of us, things are gonna come quicker. Some, some of us, things will come slower. Some of us, it's going to seem like it was instantaneous because there are a lot of other laws that are that are in play as we are living our lives. And we're going to get into some of those on the next episodes. Now, remember, if you have not subscribed to my newsletter, go ahead and email me at dawndancesdream at gmail.com, your first name and your email address, so I can get you listed down there because I have promo codes in there for the different workbooks that I always suggest in my particular <laughs> videos. And I want you to be able to access those especially if you're a dreamer on my YouTube channel. So again, to get the newsletter, email me your first name and your email address and I'll send the welcome newsletter right out to you and then the weekly rotation will come out next. And last, um, I just enjoy that you guys have been here, been hanging out with me and I hope that you are learning a lot. I know that Universal Laws may be a novel concept to some and some may be a review. Wherever you lie on that spectrum, I want you to take this information in and think about it, ponder on it, and get the answers that you need. Now, my face is going to be up here in a circle, so click on my face, select the gray bell, select all. You're going to do that if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel. Also, I'm going to place probably about two or three playlists. I know I'm going to put the um, today's playlist up here, which is going to be the Law of Action. Sorry, today's playlist is going to be the Universal Law, so I'm going to put that place, playlist up there. It's going to have three videos in there. It's going to have the Law of Action, the Law of Energy and Vibration, and the Law of Oneness. Go take a look if you missed those videos. And I'm going to place up here, I believe, the my MBA workbook as well. Because I reference it in this video. It's the Mindset, Belief, Action workbook um, series. You want to take a look at that because it's going to talk more in detail about action, what kind of action you can take towards your dreams. So thank you for hanging out with me today. <laughs> Have a great day, dreamers.